What's up guys, Asian here with another theory crafting video concerning the Stone Thord DLC. Uh, so this one we're going to be talking about the Thief versus the Shadow because there were a couple of changes to the Armor Trait Divines along with the Thief and the Shadow respectively uh, with the Stone Thorn patch. So Divines right now on the live server gives you an additional 7.5% to your Mundus Stone strength for each piece of divines that you have. In Stone Thorn, that got bumped up to 9.1% per divine's armor piece. Thief also got a very, very small bump in the overall crit chance that it provides, going from 1533 crit chance to 1537 crit chance, and the Shadow uh, received a nerf. Uh, so this should actually be the other way around. This should be 13. It was originally 13%, now it is down to 11%, but on top of the 11%, I believe now it also affects critical healing here. So first, let's see exactly how the Divine's changes uh, change the ultimate amount that you're getting from Thief or the Shadow. So obviously, the Thief got a buff, but it's actually not as big of a buff as people think, because it is only just 4 additional crit chance. It, the buff that you're getting from Thief mostly comes from the buff from Divines. So with 7 Divines armor pieces, you're going from 2337 crit chance on live right now to 2509 on the Stonethorn PTS. This bumps you up from 10.6% additional crit chance on live to 11.4% crit chance on the Stonethorn PTS. PTS. That's an increase of 0.8% crit chance. Small, but noticeable. Shadow, on the other hand, received a small nerf. So even though Divines got buffed up, Shadow, the base Shadow got nerfed. So we actually go from a 90% additional crit damage mod down to 18%. Ultimately, that's actually not that big of a nerf. It's only a 1% difference in crit damage, uh, so that actually doesn't really change the math too much here. So, now we got to figure out, okay, now that we know what our new values are, which one do we actually use? When do we use the Thief, and when do we use the Shadow? So, in order to figure this out, we need to go back to our original ratio that we figured out back when the Munda Stones were originally updated. I believe this was back in Horns of the Reach. So we have a basic ratio, which is here, crit chance divided by crit damage. Um, so with the old values that we had, 10.6% crit chance from Thief and 90% additional crit damage from Shadow, we got a break even point of 0.557. Now, with the new values, we get a new break-even point. So instead of 10.6, we get 0.114, and then instead of 0.19, we get 0.18 instead. This bumps up our value, our break-even point, up to 0.633. So what does this number actually mean? I've actually seen this number being a little bit misinterpreted in the past, so I do want to make this very, very clear right now. If our crit chance and crit damage modifier ratio before we run Thief or Shadow... If that ratio is greater than 0.633, we should be running the Shadow. If our ratio is less than 6.33, we should be running the Thief. So it's very important here that you are taking into consideration the ratio. This is not how much crit chance you should have. This is not how much crit damage you should be having. This is the ratio between your crit chance and crit damage modifier before we apply the Thief or the Shadow. Because it's a little bit confusing to think of it that way in terms of a ratio, there's a little bit of an easier way to think about it. And that would be to use a fixed value for crit damage, since there are relatively few modifiers for crit damage modifier. Uh, so it's actually very easy for us to figure out a crit chance where you want to be running Shadow rather than the Thief. So if we assume we have Minor Force, then we have 20% additional crit damage from Elfborn or Precise Strikes, and let's say we get about 33% uptime Major Force, we get an average total crit damage modifier before the shadow of 0.85. If we plug that into crit damage in the equation above, and then we solve for our crit chance, we get 0.538. So in this particular instance, if our crit chance without the Thief Mundus is greater than 53.8%, we should be running the shadow. Otherwise, we're going to be running the Thief. Now, Templars, Nightblades, and Wardens do have an additional 10% crit damage modifier, so they have a slightly higher value here. Instead of 0.85, we get 0.95, so their break-even point is a little bit higher at 60.1% instead. So, where exactly does that leave us? Well, ultimately, this actually doesn't change the calculus too much. 
prior to this patch, if we were to use that 0.85 a crit damage modifier here with the old value of 0.557 we actually have a break even point our crit chance of about 47.5 percent i believe so that is a little bit of a change here so you're talking about an additional six percent crit chance here but the but with the way that sets will work it's it's there's not a lot of set combinations that sort of leave you in that um that sort of crit chance gap between seven, uh, 47% and 53%. There are obviously going to be a handful of set combinations that do leave you within that range there where, yes, it is going to change which Mundestone you're going to be using, but for a lot of you endgame PvE players or people who want to get into endgame PvE, there are relatively few set combinations that you run, and all of them, we pretty much know more or less what your crit chance is going to be on average. So a lot of magic DPS, for example, runs something like Mother Sorrow. There is a good chance that we're going to be running something like uh, Medusa as well, which gives a lot of crit chance uh, under armor bonuses. Because we're getting very high crit from Mother Sorrow, Medusa, and possibly some other sets coming into play here, uh, we're still going to be running the Shadow just because we're, our crit chance is still going to be higher than 53.8% that we see here. Same thing with Stamina with Advanced Yokeda being possibly uh, better than uh, other sets here. That increases our average crit chance, so we might be better off still running the Shadow instead of the Thief here on Stamina DPS. But there are a couple of set combinations that do have naturally low crits. So, for example, Sororia and Spell Strategist is an old combination that's still very viable that some Magic DPS still use for just raw single target damage. In those instances, you're going to want to run the Thief because you're not hitting that 53.8% crit chance there. So you want to get higher crit uh, in order to get the higher damage modifier there. But ultimately, this doesn't actually change the calculus too much. We're still going to be probably be running Mother Sorrow, or at the very least, high crit chance uh, on both Magicka and Stamina DPS, so we're still going to be running the Shadow for the most part uh, in Stone Thorn. Again, there are a few set combinations that do fall within that gap between the 47 roughly and 54% uh, roughly crit chance, uh, where you will want to shift your Mundus from Thief to Shadow or Shadow to Thief, but... There really aren't that many in your typical standard meta set combinations there. But so that concludes it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this down in the comment section below. Again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next dungeon.